human religion is implausible to the extreme, but there's this question of why all societies have religion. I'm placing myself in the frame of mind of a visitor from the Andromeda Nebula uh -huh. um, who comes to Very Earth yes. and encounters on Earth these creatures who believe that the universe was created by something that then created humans in his, her image. Now, to the visitor from the Andromeda Nebula, that's extremely amusing because there are 3,000 trillion trillion other planets with life forms, and some of those life forms surely are less advanced than us, and some of them are more advanced than us. If there's a being with an interest in the human species, the being had better be interested in the species on those 3,000 trillion trillion other planets, Indeed. which means also that if the species, if the creator has moral standards for each of the 7 billion humans today, that creator is going to be very busy dealing with, with the seven billion individuals of each of the 3,000 trillion trillion other planets. If all societies have religion, is it fair to extrapolate from that to suggest that maybe all the aliens have religion too? In other words, is it something about being human that causes us to generate religious belief? And why do you think the aliens wouldn't have it too? What if they know. came to Earth and they said, well, their God looks a little bit different from ours, but we know there is one. Maybe the aliens do have religion, but uh, <laughs> I have enough problems dealing with human religion right. that I've not arrived at the point of thinking of alien religion. But religion is a huge cons consumer of, of emotion and effort and time and resources of a society. And it builds communities as well. Right? It builds communities, but if, if, if it didn't bring benefits, um, why, on, why haven't atheist societies taken over the world? Mm -hmm. Atheist societies that are not wasting one quarter of their resources on something that brings no benefit. There must be well, benefits. That's a fascinating question. That's, and that's the question. What are the benefits that, if we adopt the perspective of an Andromedan and say this is all a fiction, but it's a fiction that brings benefits, what are the benefits that religion brings? Mm -hmm. You're taking essentially an evolutionary stance on the question of religion. Right? That's right. It enables some to thrive and others not to if they don't have it. Exactly. I'm asking why, why, human, evolu why human religion evolved. Because it had to. It's not that, some, that one day, 3400 BC, a pharaoh figured out that in order to get, to get his subjects to obey him, he would erect a pyramid and design a religion, tell them that he had a pipeline to the gods, define the gods, and the result was a religion. No, religion must have evolved probably over the last 70,000 years. I would ask, ask my audience to explain why, if Jared Diamond is correct that there is life on 3,000 trillion trillion other planets out there, why have we not yet been visited by flying saucers? Huh. And do you think we have? No. Okay. I'm confident that we have not. <laughs>